Wasps are all offside back line. Okay, thank you. Penalty advantage. So with that advantage, can lay you at Kunja. Hold. Still penalty advantage from the line out. This is Vui. Absolute threshing machine last season. He was magnificent for Bristol. Whether it was the second row or the back row, Bedlow left it late, got clattered, but really testing that Wasps defensive line. Leua. Like that. They come down and popped. And Wasps aware that they need that line speed just drifting forward. Whoa. <laughs> that is a bullet. That'll do. Sam Bedlow off and running, Bristol off and running. Randall will have to recycle one wide. more time. Piertau, oh he twists and turns and has he done enough or is he being held up by Cardell? It's a penalty. Randall. It's more doing what he can do, and this time goes over and scores. Didn't take long for Bristol to find the gap. Left by the yellow card. Oh, Randall, very lively with yeah, that tap job. and go. Yeah, Putting the pace on it, realising that they had wasps on the ropes and they just needed to keep hammering away at the line. West. Four metres short. This is Barbary. It's been a while since Wasps have um, been this close to five points. Tamanga Allen moving this way and that way, wondering where his muscle might be needed. They went right. And then Capon and Thomas and Bristol's defence being stretched here. And there's a penalty coming. James Dunn. Flying through, Wasp still stretching. On his knees, Tom Foley. He's not sure. Keeps his head low. Does he extend over the line? Does he get there without a second movement? We're looking for clear evidence of him not scoring here. So if that tackle wasn't there anyway. Now that's the shot. Yep. Yep, thank you. Try for Jack Willis. 14 of them last season. His first at the start of this, and it's put Wasps back ahead. Not beaten Wasps in the Premiership since they came back a couple of seasons ago. They've not beaten them at Wasps in the Premiership for 20 years when Wasps were playing at Loftus Road. But they are still pressing here, and Randall goes again. Oh, Randall snaking through, nearly there, nearly had a second. Heenan lays it wide, and the try for Piertau. Could be yellow. And the 20-year gap between Bristol winning at Wasps in the league may be ending. Well, we spoke, didn't we, about how you deal with the likes of Willis. They get it perfectly here, and it's Willis that gives away the penalty at the breakdown. And you can see a little bit of confusion. Umanga flies up, no one's on his outside. As soon as he gets taken out, there's only going to be one result. Kibarigi. Seen an awful lot of Kibarigi running ball in hand. He's what not had that opportunity to show himself today. Yet. He hasn't. Good to see him coming off his wing. Getting on the advantage line. Now, how about this? Gaskell and then Willis. And now Bassett. A lot of work to do, but he's spinning and he gets it away. Oh, how have Wasps scored that try? Needs to be put down by Willis, and it is. And Wasps may well have rescued themselves with a typical piece of Wasps magic. Absolutely brilliant. Josh Bassett, you mentioned Zach Kibirigi, you haven't seen much of him. But the timing of that ball, as well as the continuity, Gaskell doing the right thing. Just getting the ball out one on one. Pirouettes through one tackle, well, second one, offload. Like You've got to say, that's the yeah. game. <sighs> Laid back and Bedlow absolutely chopped in half, but he managed to get the ball away. And now here's Heenan, and he shoved off the table. And Bristol's long wait. 
for an away win at Wasps. Goes on. It's 20 years and it's growing, but oh, the pain of getting so close to be denied by an absolute wonder try. Scored in the end by Tom Willis. Pat Lambs Bristol have been beaten and beaten by the team who ended their Premiership season last season. It's finished at the Rico. Wasps 23, Bristol 20.